Okay, everybody. So I got my wiki to not be slow anymore. I fixed my stupid issues. I would highly appreciate if the people who watch this channel would be interested in registering at uh, wiki2.rossmangroup.com. That's wiki2. wiki2.rossmangroup.com. I, I really have to come up with a better way to categorize this. I got to add so many different pages. It's ridiculous. I got to add pages for dealing with difficult customers, ultrasonic cleaning, proper ultrasonic cleaning, all sorts of crazy rules and shit. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. I don't know how I'm going to even remotely take on this project without the help of a lot of people who are open to contributing because I'm in over my head. So if you guys are interested in uh, putting some effort in, again, I'm, I figure, you know, I'd like to start the trade association, but it takes a while to get approved for that kind of thing. So before I actually have any money, I figure I want to start getting the shit done that does not require money or the stuff that I can get done without really having to pay much. Uh, I want to start getting that stuff done now so that I can at least figure out what's hard to do, what's easy to do, what needs more organization than I thought, or at least just start getting organized with things. So this way, when money flows in, if money actually ever winds up flowing in, uh, a lot of the stuff is, that I, is kind of already started. So let's get started fixing a board before we move on to any of that. Just thought I'd mention that. Uh, that, 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 that we, yes, that wiki, to be clear, it is pathetic. I literally just put it together this morning and add high, high copy and paste a bunch of stuff in there. But yeah, wiki2.rossmangroup.com. That's wiki2.rossmangroup.com. So this machine over here, as you can tell, is nasty. It's got this random look of splash stuff, but all over it on everything. Pretty gross. Turns on high fans. No screen. Well, let's dig in. Let's dig in. All right, 500, 800 milliamps, that is turning on. It is chiming and it gets you a picture. So unplugging the screen and plugging the screen back in solved one problem of no display. So I already fixed half of the problem with the board because I'm that fucking awesome. Next up, fan spinning fast. I unplug the trackpad. Kind of curious what happens here. The fan's not spinning fast for me. Oh, it can't. Because I have the damn magnet on it with all the screws. Shit. No, it's silly. Whoops. Excuse me for a moment while I... All right, so the fan is spinning really quickly. Now let's take a look at what's going on with my trackpad. Any of you want to take a look at the trackpad with me? I hope you do. Because if you don't, that means I'm going to make you look at it against your will. That would make me rude. I try not to be rude. It's part of my New York values. So you could see that someone tried to clean corrosion from the trackpad area. See those pins in the left? Yeah, they're pretty nasty, aren't they? And I'm kind of curious what those pins are for. Maybe you are too. I hope you are, because if you're not, I'm going to be showing you that against your will too. Okay. Schematic and board view. Got our trackpad over here. Z2 host, boring. Pick button L, boring. Z2 key, boring. Z2 CSL, boring. Psofka. None of that shit is for the a sensor of any kind. Only one I'm interested in is this SM bus data line over here and power going to the trackpad. Either way, now we have a hint. We know that at some point in time, liquid was by the trackpad, and that could be why it is working slowly. Or not working slowly. Let me correct myself there and say that, that it could be why it, the fans are spinning quickly. There is a sensor, the trackpad, TSOP, top case. And that is the sensor that is in the trackpad, so it speaks to the trackpad. And the way it's gonna to speak to the trackpad is on an SM bus data line. Now the SM bus data line is on the right side, and the right side looks fine. It's the left side that looks kind of messy. But still, what that does is it tells me that at some point in time there was corrosion here, which means that I really should be thinking about the fact that the trackpad itself could be bad. 
I'm just going to resolder all these joints. Do you do repairs for the Mac Mini? Eh, not really. Usually basic stuff. Mac Minis are really cheap. It's hard to spill water on them because you usually don't have them right next to your water. Most of the repairs people ask for is when they rip off the fan connector, the IR connector when they're replacing the hard drive, which we do, or they have something that usually is a dead CPU, dead PCH, random, open-ended, miserable, not economically viable for us to try and figure out problem. <laughs> I don't want to solder on top of corrosion, so what I do is I try and scrape away the corrosion. Looks a little less shitty than it did before. Trackpad cable looks fine. I don't know what this weekend is, NZK. I have allergies, by the way, so for those of you wondering why the audio randomly mutes, it's when I wind up making a disgusting noise with my face. I figure I should mute too, so that you don't have to hear that to be kind. So many nasty face noises. Oh dear God, battery. Look at this battery. Oh man, that is, that is junk. Let's see if the fan spins fast here or not. fan is not spinning fast. So that's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something from this very boring board repair.